I'm going to cover. My purpose is not to change your religion. My purpose is not to uh, make you believe everything that I say. On the contrary, I'm the only one in the world that will tell you, listen to everyone, read everything, believe absolutely nobody, including me. a song that came out talking about the age of Aquarius mm -hmm. and since then we've seen the development of the new age and I wondered if back when you were involved in spirit worship if they talked about new age at all oh yes it was a big thing that uh, was coming up one of the uh, major deceptions of the last days mm -hmm. and the priest uh, told us uh, he had we talked to quite a while and uh, then he said uh, could I have a bit more your time I want to do something very fascinating he says, the grain plain, the master's grain plain, for harvesting the nations, uh, for, for harvesting the multitudes of the earth into his cause, just before the close of the great controversy between the forces of good and evil. So he continued, you know, after we uh, express ourselves, we'll be interested to know more about the activities of spirits. And he said, it's going to be done in a unique manner. This, this grain plain is, is, is going to take people, people are going to eat the stuff. Because he says, spirits, demon spirits, will declare themselves to be inhabitants of far distant planets in the galaxies that are coming to warn the inhabitants of planet Earth of the impending destruction of the planet unless something seriously proper is done to avoid it. And he went on saying, so saying that uh, uh, they will claim uh, to have out-of-body experiences are you familiar with out-of-body experiences? Mm -hmm. I've read about them. In other words, so a person, uh, there's some persons are supposed to be able to, you know, uh, they believe in their immortal soul. Astral immortal soul projection. Pro yes, right. Goes into different parts of the world and sees things and come back and then they write all about it. You know? I've heard of that. So, uh, due to the fact that the millions of the earth people believe in having people having an immortal soul, he says it be readily, readily accepted when the spirits will, through a trans medium, converse with influential people of the land, you see. Now, what is a trans medium? It's a channeler today. What, what is known today as a channeler? Channeler, yeah. Okay. Uh, Shirley McLean's experience of getting involved with spiritism and with the uh, inhabitants, supposed inhabitants of far distant planets in the galaxies, I taped the whole thing, it's three hours. And you were hearing the fulfillment of exactly. what this high priest had said yeah. 45 years ago. Yeah, exactly. So he went on explaining about the fact that the spirits will show themselves willing to give valuable guidance that will not only help people avoid the destruction of the planet, but it will cause them to enter into a higher state of existence. For instance, he said the spirits will, will uh, promise this is a big word, promise, that if their recommendations are followed carefully, they will usher in a glorious new age of peace and prosperity, and there, there'll be, um, well, there'll be no more wars, you see, uh, there'll be no more famines, there'll be no more uh, people getting uh, unhappy with one another, neighbors will love neighbor, and uh, social unrest will not take place no more. It'll be sure, there'll be <laughs> perfect happiness for a thousand years. That's what the Spirit is going to promise. And Almost we'll, like the Garden of Eden created all uh -huh. over again. And now we find that a lot of preachers are, pre are preaching the great age of, uh, glorious new age of victory, victory over wars, victory over social unrest, victory over famines, and victory over all kinds of... Uh, and he used the words new age to describe what was coming. 
It would be a glorious new age, yeah. And uh, this is exactly what the movement is all about today. Mm. And he went on and said, as I said earlier, <laughs> that as life on this planet becomes more and more difficult, and calamities will strike the planet more and more frequently, the spirits at that time is go are going to put all their effort to impress religious leaders, to bring before the, the masses of the earth the, the sacredness of Sunday. See? They will teach Sunday sacredness. And with the religious leaders, looking forward to a thousand years of perfect peace on earth, they will put all their effort into it. Then laws will be passed by governments uh, yeah, one, one person asked, what's going to happen about people that don't believe in the Spirit's uh, recommendation? <laughs> the priest says, that would be no problem at all. Laws will be passed by governments that will force people to go along with it, regardless of whether they believe in it or not. And, he says, the law enforcement officers will explain to people, make it clear, that such a law is necessary to assure the well-being of all people. He says, the laws will be passed, be no effort at all. And then he, he went on and he, and, and he said about the fact that uh, uh, the venerable day of the sun, which in ages past was such an irritant to the Creator. All of these great nations and other nations of smaller ones were all involved in sun worship. And in those centuries, the Creator found that teaching of the worship of the sun to be a terrible irritant. And he said, it is going again to take place, but not in worshiping the sun, in remembering Sunday to keep it holy. He made a statement I will never forget. He says, by the observance of the day upon which the master, Satan, has placed the unction of his authority and power, He receives homage, regardless of whom people claim to worship. See? And I'm telling you, don't believe me unless in your own research you can prove what it is that I'm telling you. Because this is the age of deception. And if you don't believe that, you might as well go home right now because you're in the wrong place. This is the age of deception. <laughs>